All right, we're so excited about Battle Tapes. They have a full-length album coming out, and they're going to be playing School Night tomorrow, September 28th at Bardot. So we have Battle Tapes in the studio. Josh, the lead singer, is right here to my right. Please introduce the band and the uh, tracks you just played for us. Cool, yeah. Uh, I'm Josh, Steven on bass, uh, Bequeen on drums, and Riley on keyboard. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Something. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we just uh, played... Um, First one was the title track off our second EP called Sweatshop Boys. And the second one was a song called Belgrade, which is off our upcoming record. Feel the Same mm-hmm. was the track that caught my attention of yours. Kind of reminded me of Nine Inch Nails. Mm. And uh, so who, what are some of your uh, influences as a band? Uh, we all come from you know different, different places musically. Um, you know, I, I've always loved electronic music my whole life, but, you know, the song Pump Up the Volume changed my life when I was a kid. Just the first time I heard that, I was like, what is this? You and me both. <laughs> yeah, man. And so that, you know, I kind of went down that path. My folks were into, like, Zeppelin and, you know, the things you imagine uh, people's parents being into. And, uh, so that OG rock stuff really influenced me a lot. I think some of us are into, you know, like Pantera. Who, like, mm-hmm. you just all over the map. I think it all comes down to everyone like songs, though, and that kind of comes across in battle tapes. It's... Yeah, a song. It's the three or four mm-hmm. minute song, and whatever the medium is for for the music, it kind of will always meet there. And I think that's uh, all the influence can agree on that, and that's uh, you know help the band have a good direction. Cool, cool. So how did the band come together? Um, we Stephen and I knew each other since we were teenagers. We grew up in the same town together in uh, Georgia, and we moved out here with a, with a few years of each other. Um, Riley and I knew each other just through the music industry world, and I kind of had the idea for the, this project and mm-hmm. talked to them, like, hey, let's book out a rehearsal space and try these songs I've been demoing, and we did, and it, we liked it, and then we played a show, and people liked it, so we just kind of mm-hmm. kept rolling with it. Very nice. And you're based out of Los Angeles right now? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Now, uh, you're known kind of as a DIY band. Talk about the evolution of a DIY band and you know the live performance uh, capacity and everything. Steve, why don't you go with that one? Um... I've always thought it's a it's an interesting evolution of what DIY meant in the 80s or the 90s or the 2000s or to now, and it, it just seems like with technology, um, it doesn't mean it sounds like you're in a basement anymore, uh, which is cool, but that doesn't necessarily what it uh, you know has to mean. And uh, when I say battle tapes is DIY, I mean the the light show, the production, the the recording, the engineering, like it's it's all done by these guys, mm-hmm. and uh, I think um, I think it's a it's a it's a great kind of crossover where technology came in and let you do something like this. And sure, it means that there's a lot more people throwing stuff at the wall. But um, I was always really proud of what we were able to do with this, with almost no money at all, you know, right. behind it. Just like we wanted to make music, these guys wanted to do songs, mm-hmm. and we did it. We wanted to do lights, so we did it. We want, you know, there's no excuses for not having your music out there anymore. And yeah, we're lucky to come up in a, some weird meeting of technology and. Music and well, it's like our entire crew of what would be people back like ten years ago to help us do everything is this crate case at my feet right here, nice. and it does everything. You know, all the all the work is coming out of that now. You have a new record coming out. Mm-hmm. What can we expect? Uh, it's gonna be about nine or ten songs. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, it's what, what can we expect? I don't even know how to answer that. Um, <laughs> I feel like the chopping block is still out, so we don't even know what to expect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so but, it's still a ways out, but you do have a few tracks coming out. Yeah, we, we're we in the final stage of mixing it right now. We've been mixing it uh, for the last month, and it's getting close, and we're just looking around for people to release it with and just trying to find the right avenue to pursue and find the right people who are kind of on the same line with us with what we're trying to accomplish with it. But it, I think it's going to be really rad. There's some cool songs, it's, you know. If yeah. you're into any of the old stuff, this mm-hmm. is just an evolution and a progression of that. It's it's going to be right up your alley. It's It's... It's a lot of fun. Um, it's just, it's more of it. And I think we've gotten away with not having a lot of content for years and just kind of like putting out mm-hmm. with what, you know, what we could. And now this is just going to be a big block of, of that style. So great. All right. Well, uh, you have a few live shows coming up. Uh, tell me about what's happening tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, man, school night. We're so excited to do it. And like, you know, it's funny around the same time we started this band when school night started. And I remember mm-hmm. just Steven and I talking about it one time, like, I want to do that at some point. Yeah. It seemed like such a cool thing. And one, one of our biggest motivators is what are we doing for the culture? You know, so many people are just putting stuff out that really, mm-hmm. there's no room for it in the landscape. Like, you know, why do something if there's no point to it? 
or sure. you know you're not pushing the culture forward and that one, that's one thing school night does is it helps build a community but also helps put some really cool music and cool art in a spotlight and help it push it forward which helps everybody you know yeah, so absolutely it's really cool to be a part of that and the bands we're playing with i can't even believe like walking on cars clean bandit clean bandit yeah and tell man like come on like what are we even doing with those guys they're so cool you know like but uh i am more than happy to be there and can't wait to do it and we also have uh tim from most definitely on the turntables tomorrow yeah that dude man we we did his um the most his, definitely music blog for anybody who doesn't know yeah it's great that guy just in follow his playlist on spotify too he is always putting up the coolest music on there too yeah we're big supporters of both of you guys yeah awesome uh, yeah, we did his uh, his showcase at South by, and that's how we met Tim. And then we hooked up on this show too. So yeah, that's awesome. That's the first time I met Tim and uh, Max as well. Yeah. So that's cool. Uh, cool. Well, uh, thank you guys so much for coming all the way down to Laguna Beach. No Hopefully, you enjoyed the drive. It was a beautiful day. Mm, amazing down here. Had a drink over at Mozambique. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the studio? Pretty cool, huh? So nice. I love great. this colored wall back here behind. Yeah. Us. It's yeah. Cool. It's fun. It makes for a fun shoot. Well, yeah, we're here at KX935 for We Found New Music. Uh, one more thing. So, uh, Battle Tapes, where can people find your music? Oh, <clears throat> battletapesband.com or any digital music distributor cool. or any of the you know, social media outlets. They'll interact with you on Twitter or whatever. Oh, yeah. Cool. All right, All right well, guys, th thank you so much for coming into the studio, and we'll be following you. Thank you for having us. Thanks, guys. All right. Thanks, man.